Here, let's, this is going to be so incredibly unprofessional. Controls. How do I open up the map? Auto map. Key M. Okay. Resume M. It looks like... I honestly have no idea. I'm going to go to the north, I guess, because that's really the only unexplored area that could loop around. Um... Or it could be way to the south by the portal, I guess, but it doesn't really look like there's any other unexplored area. So we're going to go all the way to the north, and hey, if this is the wrong way to go, maybe we'll like pick up some sort of quest or something. Um, okay, there's the minimap back. You just have to press M like five times to move it. Okay, yeah, the, this, this like fire ember shard thing completely destroys these nether thralls, even though they're not even ice-based, they're like poison-based or something. And also the fire ember um, uses up a lot less mana, so I, overall this might actually be a, a better spell to use in the future. I was using it at really low levels and it wasn't doing a whole lot, so that's why I kind of switched over to the ice one. But let's destroy some of these nether mancers. What is this guy, S. Therian? Some random guy, like, strapped to a table? That's kind of messed up. Free this poor guy. Oh, maybe not. Okay. <laughs> I'm worried. Is he going to, like, turn into boss? No, he just, uh, just gets destroyed in a shower of blood and spawns another brood. Okay. As long as he drops loot, I'm completely okay with this. As messed up as that sounds. And, yeah, I mean, very, very easy fight. I just kind of tank everything that he does. Give me a side quest. I know he's not going to, but let's finish him off with my ice scroll there. Oh, of course, I get the unlimited mana just as he dies. Very typical. Let's continue on. Everything's dead, and it looks like this is not the way to go because I see an edge to the map, so I have really no idea where to go to uh, reach my place. This is a common occurrence in this game. This game is not very linear, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um... I don't mind having not linear games like you know back in the day I don't really want to say in the good old gauge days of gaming because like nostalgia is one of the most annoying things to me in the entire world but like when I was a kid growing up um, and you played video games they were never linear you kind of like had to look up a guy just to like figure out what to do at least I did but I was just a, a dumb kid and had really no clue what I was doing when it came to gaming but yeah you don't really have to do that anymore Let's see. Okay, I'm going to open up this auto map again, see if there's anywhere that just isn't explored yet. Is there any, like, even partially gray area down by the base? I guess there is a little bit. We could go down and check. I see somewhere that might potentially be the right way to go. We'll keep the map open like this for a little while. If it gets annoying, I'll take it off, but um, it's still somewhat kind of see-through. But yeah, I do see, like, potentially an area we could go right down here. Please let there be a path. It looks like there is a path, so I guess I missed something when I was exploring down here. Some more skeletons and Mirka frost spiders. Well, you guys might be frost, but I have fire. And they died very quickly. The frost didn't even kill them nearly that fast, so yeah, this is the way to go. This fire just wrecks. Looks like using the uh, correct element to counter what element enemies are is like really the way to go in this game. Take out some skeletal archers, dead adventurer. Gives me a health potion, thank you. I mean, I guess he isn't needing it anymore. Oh, and there's more enemies that spawn. It's just never ending. Poison, I want to get away from that. Boards, more big health potions. They're everywhere. I'm just stocking up on these things. Although I'm still kind of like low enough health that the smaller health potions are completely fine for me at this level. Can you die, please? Thank you. This thing just keeps spawning things like this monolith. Here's the boss, though, so this is probably, like, the end of it. As long as he drops me loot, and I have unlimited mana, so I can just, like, go ahead and spam this firebolt. Heal up here so as to not die. And I get a cudgel. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything here is used for mages, although that cudgel looks pretty magic staffy. My inventory is full already. Wow. That filled up quite fast. I swear I had a empty inventory not very long ago. Probably most of this stuff is crap. Yeah, that's not worth it. Ola's massive wrench. That's definitely not some sort of mage weapon. So you can just go ahead and trash this. I can probably just like trash most of this. It seems like you don't really get um, weapons and armor and stuff that's actually good enough to upgrade very often. Okay, so like my pet's inventory is completely full and I still have stuff left. I've been getting so many items. And I'll probably have to send him off 
for another trip to the bank pretty soon. Okay, so that turned out to be not the way to go. However, I do see a little bit of gray down here. Maybe this could be the correct route. Yeah, it looks like I just barely missed it. Another mimic. Like, every single chest that I've run across is a mimic now. Resist elemental attacks. How come my elemental attack was raping him then? I'm not exactly sure. Okay, so it looks like hopefully this is the correct route. And I don't have to uh, worry anymore. Meteor hits me. Yeah, this is the way to go. It looks like I've almost completely explored this area, which maybe I should do more often as to not get, like, under-leveled. Like, I've just, just from exploring the area, look at this down here. I'm already over halfway to my le next level. That's not even from doing quests or killing bosses, although I, I came across, like, a couple of mini-bosses just exploring the land. But, yeah, I guess this is probably, like, the best way to level up a bit. You gotta grind a little bit in every single RPG for the most part, so... Exploring around and just killing everything is probably a pretty good idea. It's in my best interest. Alright, let's just make our way to the dungeon as I'm slowed down here. I don't have my pet to help me out, but... Man, this magma spear. It's doing so well. Very glad I... Look at that, I just one-hit everything. That was pretty awesome. That This is awesome. It just, like, goes through enemies and hits the ones behind it. Take you guys out. Get a cold rain that I will never use. I don't know, I just don't really like using guns in some sort of fantasy. It's kind of like the mystique of fantasy and having like swords and arrows that's so alluring. I don't really like using guns. Um, if it's a shooter game, then yeah, I mean, I'm completely for it. But I've never liked when uh, fantasy RPGs like try to incorporate guns as a weapon to use as well. Because it, it just feels completely wrong to use um, guns in a game that's all about like phase portal what what's that for let's go through it yolo oh a phase beast challenge that's cool it's the uh, first time i've ever seen something like that protect the crystals from the goblin hordes let's just rape everything around this crystal open up the chest i need to protect this crystal fair enough did i protect it like are there any more goblins coming for it i don't know what's this that portal okay so I have to protect this crystal I see what we're gonna do in here we're pretty much just killing all the goblins around the crystal all those these crystals lose health really quickly so um, that's not good that last crystal didn't give me a chest that's very greedy of it okay goblins let's let's give it your best shot what is the crystal at oh the crystal was destroyed I didn't mean it Wow, these goblins take down these crystals really quickly. I don't think I'm going to be able to save the rest of them. I tried my best, but... You kind of need, like, really, really strong multi-target attacks probably to succeed this challenge. I was not up for it. So I'm probably not going to get, like, a good reward now, because... What was this? Unidentified staff. It's a staff, unfortunately, so I don't want it, but... Okay, can I get out now? I failed your challenge. I admit... It. Oh, there's another goblin left. Maybe I have to kill him. There we go. Return to surface. Failed the challenge. Oh well. Moving on in life. Load, please. He's taking his time loaded. I don't know what's going on. I am kind of like uploading a video right now, so that might be part of it. Although, that's more like internet usage than actual CPU usage. My computer usually performs pretty well, even when I am uploading a, a video. Although, the internet does suffer. Um... Unfortunately, like, I, I do want to get back into streaming and stuff, but I don't know if I've complained about this in a video on this channel before. I'm not sure if I have, and if I have, I'm really sorry that I'm doing it again. But what's just absolutely ridiculous is the town that I live in, um, the maximum internet that you can get, the maximum internet speed, um, there's like four different internet provider companies. The absolute fastest you can possibly get without paying like $80 a month, there is an internet company that offers... Um, I don't know what they call it. Some I, I have no idea like how hardware works when it comes to computers and stuff. I'm just completely lost. So I'm, I'm no one to really question about stuff like that. But um, yeah, like the maximum internet speed you can get is I think 2 millibytes a second upload speed, which is not very good at all. That's pretty bad. I don't even know if that's good enough to stream on, but we will see because that's what I'm getting. I did upgrade the internet, and the internet guys are going to like come in and install whatever they need to install pretty soon. 
hopefully that's good enough to stream. If not, um, it's not that much more expensive, and at least it'll be, you know, faster upload speeds and stuff, but that's the fastest you can get without paying, like, 80 bucks a month. It's just ridiculous. And if you do want to pay 80 bucks a month, you have to go with this really, really sketchy company. It's, it's, I don't even know what it's called. It's, it's just like a local company. They don't have any other, um, branches anywhere else. It's just in this town. And they have, like, horrible, horrible reviews. And, uh, yeah, even then, like, the max internet speed they upload, they offer is, like, 4 millibytes a second or 5 millibytes a second upload speed, which is pretty good, but it's not amazing by any stretch of the imagination. It's like I was living with my grandparents for a while, and they have Comcast internet, and they only pay like 40 bucks a month for internet, and they get like 8 millibytes a second upload speed. It's ridiculous. Of course, they have it bundled with TV and phone as well. Otherwise, it'd be a lot more than that, but um, it's just crazy. Like this town that I live in, it's not even a small town. It's it's a fairly decent-sized town. It's like 50,000 people or something, and still, um, like you can't even get fast internet in this town. It's impossible, so I don't know. Um, I don't even know if it's going to be possible to like, stream just based on the area where I live has absolutely terrible internet. Um, every single company, they just don't offer it for whatever reason. What happened? Oh, I clicked on the vendor there. I did not mean to do that. But like, hopefully I will be able to stream, but I might like have to you know, not stream anytime soon. I might have to wait until I... Uh, I don't know, move out on my own or something, which I, I'd like to do one day, but, you know, financially, I just can't really afford to do that right now. But we'll see. Anyway, let's destroy this TNT barrel. I don't even know what I'm doing. I just almost died. Maybe standing really close to that TNT barrel wasn't the wisest decision, but, you know, who knows. Anyway, like, I really hope that I am able to stream. Like, I definitely want to stream some more Isaac, and I've had some people asking me, they're like, yeah, you should stream Isaac you know it's fun I've only streamed it a couple times so far and like barely anyone tuned in to watch the stream when I did do it but oh well I mean I'm not mad about that or anything it's just it's Isaac I can't really expect a large audience for that but um yeah anyway like I'm, I've been really excited to get back into streaming I haven't been able to for a long time feel bad about it um and hopefully I will be able to but I might be screwed out of it just based on the town where I live it's just I don't even care about any of this stuff what's that it's a staff. I don't like it. Uh, play crystal wand. Another wand that's alright, but not the best. And what are these? Yeah, but those trinkets aren't amazing. I should probably just like put them in my armor and weapons. Let's do that. Let's just put these in. They really don't give amazing stats as it is, so I'm not worried if I like, you know, find better armor right away and it feels like a waste for the trinkets, because they're not amazing as it is. Okay. I learned now and I was standing away from the TNT barrels I'm gonna put my mini map back up in the top because I think that's a better place to have it for dungeons but when I'm out in the overworld it's probably um oh no no don't do that okay that was a mistake I just stood by that TNT barrel did not mean to but yeah when I'm out in the overworld it's probably better to have the map like out on the uh, main screen because it's a lot easier to see what you're doing that way Anyway, so it looks like I'm mostly just fighting goblin mo goblin archers, guys? Detonator. Okay, I pulled the detonator. What's going to happen? Nothing's happened so far. This is kind of anticlimactic. That took a while. That was a really short fuse. I don't know why it took so long just to go through that fuse, but whatever. Is there goblins alive? I swear I just had an arrow just come at me. I hear goblins in the distance. I don't, don't know where they are, though. Uh, military crossbow all these items that look kind of cool, but I can't use them because they're the wrong class for me Oh, there you are. I can't shoot you though unless you decide to come down here There you go 